good morning everyone today i will show you how to use array tool in 3ds max so let's get start first of all i will create a cylinder in standard primitives i will create a cylinder just like this Now we'll go to wireframe mode. Then I will go to modify list of this object and decrease the radius and height will be increased. Okay. Now I will create a box in top view. Just right here. Now go to perspective view. Now we'll drag it just a little bit outside, right up here. Okay. The next thing, I will change the pivot point of this object toward to this cylinder's center. Okay. So now select this one and go to hierarchy menu and click on effect pivot only now drag this one this pivot point to center of this cylinder now i will select to snapping mode and drag it toward here now it has fixed uh, in center of this cylinder now I will close the snapping <coughs> and effect only effect pivot only I will deselect it now you can see in perspective view the pivot point has changed from here to here now one more thing we want this pivot point right down here but it has changed right up here so once again I will go to effect pivot and go to other view and just drag it toward to down here you go I think this one now click on this now this is perfect now one more thing you have to select this and go to this toolbar and select array now you can see this dialog box right here okay now the main thing I want to make multiple copies of this object surrounding this cylinder okay so I will go to this rotation tool and go to z axis here you go z axis I will put here value 360 360 okay the next thing I will change the number of copies count it should be 
20 and now you can see multiple copies of this object by pressing this preview I am pressing this preview and you can see this kind of effect has generated through this object through array tool now one more thing I want rotation of these multiple objects but I want move toward to up just like uh, up stairs so now uh, I will click on move tool and the same direction it means Z direction I will increase the value of this Z axis and you can see what it will see you can see you can see right up here A stairs has generated ok you can increase the number of these multiple objects so I am uh, increasing the value just put here 50 but you can see you can see this kind of effect now you want uh, finish these stairs right up here so what you will do increase the value of z axis in move tool and you can see put up right up here now you can see this one so uh, this is the use of array tool you can use array tool for uh, making something like this kind of stairs or uh, something else ok that's it uh, from me in this tutorial uh, thank you so much